All right, all items. Attempt three. Run it back. Where's the R? There's the R. I found the R, chat. I'm so used to naming my characters in Japanese because of Deltarune. Why not collect snail pie and monster candy? Uh, because we sell the monster candy. There's this character uh, in the game. Her name is Temi. And uh, we have to get Temi armor from her. And that costs a lot of money. A considerable amount. Quite a sizable amount of funds. Thankfully, we do have uh, good old money laundering on our side, but even that's too slow for us. So we just sell everything we pick up to make it faster. The other day we discovered that my cat isn't a male as we thought. It is a female. Also, it's pregnant. Oh, wow. Damn, that's a, that's a revelation. <laughs> well, enjoy your litter, I guess. Just kill the spider. I mean, what kind of spider are we talking about here? Are we talking like a daddy long legs or are we talking like a fucking tarantula? There are uh, two solutions to spiders. Uh, the first one is if it's small, I step on it. Uh, the second is if it's larger. I go to my dad's drawer and pull out the 44 Magnum. <laughs> that shit. Who oh, say goodnight? <laughs> Can you not run away from that froggit? Nope, you can't run from monsters on the first turn in hard mode. And that also applies to the scripted froggit as well. Are you buying Temi armor without dying? Nope, we die 25 times. Uh, but that's routed in, you'll see later. We do that in the second half of the run. Yeah, I'm pretty used to dealing with bugs. Um, when I was growing up, my sister was like deathly afraid of bugs. Like a like a little moth got into her room. Um, that 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 was it. It was lights out. She'd be like. Kill this moth! Which was also me when I was an Overwatch player. I've never had that debilitating fear of insects that some people have, though. Bugs are the worst. Yesterday I ran into an overflow exception. <sighs> Don't give me an encounter. Thank you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, gaming, gaming, gaming. Oh, gameplay, gameplay. Gameplay, baby. Woo! Oh, we are gaming right now. There was so much gaming right there. God, I love hard mode. What are you doing? Menu buffering. You can't get an encounter if you menu buffer. And uh, since you can't run away from encounters on the first turn, well... Have you hydrated? Yep. I like doing it at the end of rooms just to make sure I don't get the encounter on the way out. Should be good. Oh, God damn it. Hello, me gospel. Let me run away, please. Never lucky. Let me run away, please. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my god! Ow. Let me run away. Please. Please! Huh. I thought it was first turn. It is just first turn. First turn, you are guaranteed to be able to not be able to run away. Second turn is a 50 50. game launch. Thank you. All right, let's go. Wait, <laughs> I'm used to pressing the split key there to start the game. Alright, so we are going to be doing sort of genocide first. So this is going to be like a... A funky genocide. A new funky mode type of genocide with no first frog get kill because, you know, strange, stranger things have happened. How's my favorite white boy? Hi Rezzy, hope you're doing wonderful. I'm doing great. So we're going to do pacifist up until the save point with maps to blue, and then once we get to that save point, we are going to uh, start doing genocide instead. And what that does is basically makes it so we don't have to play through the ruins beginning here a second time. The only caveat being that we don't get to kill first frog it, which, if we're lucky, that won't matter. But, uh, <laughs> imagine getting lucky. Yeah, I was going to do encounters in the three rock room. Yes. My only concern is with Molt Small, honestly. Oh yeah. You see you next. Take care of yourself. All right, there's the triple mold. We got it out of our system early. So that means we're not going to get any more, right? All right, so save. All right, genocide time. Ooh, that's tight. Come on, damage rolls. Don't fail me now. It failed me now. Damage rolls failed me. Frog at Whimson would be appreciated. Alright, I just need to get a 24 here and we're good. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh my god. Fucking miserable. Actually miserable. You know, you said this will save three minutes. No, a tasser told me it'll save three minutes, so. It's gotta save three minutes. I believe. Ha oh, ha! I don't think I can get a 27. Pretty sure 26 is the max. Yay! <laughs> Woo, give it up for love too, baby. Oh, now you give me a fucking frog it. I... Oh my god. Pain. Can you grind encounter? No, no, JFB. You never want to grind encounters there. Those monsters have a fuck ton of health. And we'd have to fight Napsa Bluke, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, uh, what's up, Wolfa? My friends on TikTok send me scrunch. On Discord, it's fucking blurb blurb. Stop posting about Mold Small. I take good care of my hands, Gatory. I appreciate the the concern, though. I do take good care of them, though. I make sure to stretch and uh, do proper exercises. Mold small is not pog, it is cringe, but I am free. For all items, do you need to do genocide to get the locket and the knife? Are they items? Yes, we do need to do genocide. That's why we're doing genocide. They're the only items that are only obtainable on genocide. Now, some items are easier to get on genocide, so we'll be getting them uh, on this route, just because it's, it's easier. Any particular reason you attack multiple B first? I attack the second enemy in every formation because uh, one of them might be Whimson. That's the strat. You don't lose any time attacking the second monster first in any of the formations, and one of them you will attack Whimson first. No, doing early burnt pan counts for getting the noodles. There's no source requirement. Uh, there, there, this isn't a source requirement category. We just need to get every item. 
So we do get the noodles from doing early burnt pan. And uh, we get the stained apron from overflowing the burnt pan in Pacifist. We should theoretically say, see some time save in the faded ribbon split. The time save should be split up between this split and the faded ribbon split later. Oh my god, dude. What? I think I, I saw one frog at Whimson. One frog at Whimson through all of that shit. Are you fucking kidding me, dog? Yeah, 30%, 30 by the way. Fucking... Out of here with that bullshit. Give me my fucking items. Sand! Uh, item routing is gonna be a little weird. I need fi need to find some time to drop items, or at least just spam eat them. Actually, I think the only thing I have in my inventory right now are healing items, so I can literally just spam eat them. Because I want to I wanna clean inventory. <laughs> Crunch. Crunch. You know, I just... Frisk just fucking stuffed their face with those fucking candies. Game really said mold small. Gonna go get some lunch? Yo, have a nice lunch. I hope it's yummy. Yeah, so really the only reason we do genocide in this uh, category is because we need to get real knife and lock it. Uh, but during the playthrough, there are definitely things to pick up in Jenna that uh, are much easier to get than they would be through one pacifist run. Namely, everything you can buy from the last two shops because they're really expensive. You get all of it for free. Yeah, I, I realized last time, by the way, I totally forgot to steal the money from the shop. So I need to remember to do that this time. Because I was almost short on funds. So yeah, real knife and locket are the only reason why we have to do genocide, but it ends up being convenient for a lot of the other items like gun and hat. And face steak is actually a huge one because it's face steak is so fucking expensive. Sand! That's the wrong category, Shay. Hey next, welcome back. What I miss? We're we're vibing. Money on my motherfucking mind. Does he have to get 30 hot dogs? No. You only have to get the hot dog item and the hot cat item. And we get the hot dog item and then drop the hot cat. Because we, uh, we use the hot dog to get the hush puppy. Yeah, there's not actually that many items in this game. You know, for an RPG, <laughs> there's not that many. What's my favorite item? My favorite item, probably the punch card. <laughs> what game is this? Delta Rune. Yo, what's up, Inflin? Thank you for the thirteen months. I appreciate it. Ugh. I don't think I got funny. The power company. Damn. The company.
Shut up, Inflame. <laughs> yeah, we rearranged it because there's time saves, you got. So now we're doing Geno first. Uh, yeah. I guess we pick up the tough glove. I was supposed to grind for Snowdrake there, by the way. That will be okay. That doesn't actually matter. Well, it does matter, but it doesn't... It's not super important. We'll just get it right here instead. So it, we lost like, I don't know, five seconds of steps. Not a big deal. Yep, just doing Geno. The dying comes later. We actually can't die, as per the route, uh, because we can't save through all of Geno. Don't say a word. I don't want to. I if I if I see any of it, I'm I'm purging on sight mods. If I see any of you say it. Yo, Jay, I hope you're doing well. There it is. Somebody said it. Streamer! Gentle punch card! Streamer! Shay's going to die to Sans <laughs> about that. Nobody tell him, chat. You have my mercy. Damn, Enzo's feeling generous today. You're lucky he's such a cute and merciful guy. If it was me, it would have sent your soul to the Shadow Realm. It would have been over for you. Wouldn't GPC be slower in this category? Yes, because there's no sands. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to pick up on that. Do the dog thing? Uh, that would abort genocide, so no. Have you hydrated recently? Yes, I have. Thank you, Amelia. Why am I targeting dogamy? This happened yesterday. Ugh. Yeah, remember that's the way Snowgrave's progression is tracked actually makes sense. Undertales is a little bit uh overprotective, I think. I mean, it works, but god forbid you try to break it. Ooh, man. There's like fucking 15 monsters in this game that set redemption. It's ridiculous. Do you like Minecraft 1.19? Yeah, I like the changes they're making. I think they're pretty cool. I like that they gave the Warden a ranged attack in the most recent snapshot. That's sick. He is not a no-hitter. Uh, I mean, I can. I've attempted Genocide no-hit before. I got close to beating it. 
I've uh, I've done no hits of other games too. Like I did a no hit of every single boss in the Terraria Calamity mod. That was pretty fun. You good there, chair? <laughs> Didn't know it. Nah, you're good, yeah. I still need to go back and no hit XMX. I haven't done that yet. And pretty soon I'll have to no hit fucking Queen Slime and Deer Clops and Empress of Light. Although I've yeah, I've no hit Empress of Light already. <laughs> Multiple times, as a matter of fact. You change the route order? Time save. Yeah. We're doing Geno first now. The Warden can say fuck you in particular. I love that they made him have a projectile for anti-cheese. It's good. He should be ridiculously hard to put down. Queen Slime looked like a cool boss. Queen Slime's annoying. People have found ways around that. Well, the most, the easiest strategy you can do at the moment is just tower up. Make sure you have a couple of shields in your inventory. And I don't know, put something slowing on yourself, like a cobweb or something. just sit there and you can just block the the sonic boom of the shield i think if they were going to make any more balance adjustments to it they should make it so that shields can block it but make it so that like the the, the shield cooldown is like insane yo cooper is with the three months i appreciate it enjoy your beautiful blue heart that looks beautiful on you but anything would to be fair Enjoy your frogs for another month, and thank you for the support. Appreciate you. This is two playthroughs? Sorta, of, kinda, yeah. Pretty much. No, you do not need to kill the first frog yet. Order of us, you can speak until the Texas reason you should you should change the ending to take out what you speak in. Por qué? Nani? Pretty unlucky step count there, geez. Actually, that was insanely bad step count. That was nearly the worst I could have possibly gotten. That was the same as the anti-dream mod. That's kind of that's kind of funky. <laughs> Give me everything. I'll take it all. Give me that, and goodbye. And cool.
I'll take it all. Here comes the money. Money, 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 motherfucker. Money, I'm a motherfucking money. Y'all ever see that, the mashup with uh, Tem Shop and that song? That's so old, I know, that's like 2015 Undertale, that's classic. Hey Ren, everyone is going great so far. So wondering how fast you could speak until text to speech couldn't understand it. I see. Twenty fifteen was seven years ago. Yeah, Undertale turned seven this year. Seven. Seven years. And after it's eight? Yep. Closer to 2040 than we are to 20, uh, 2000. True. I have any Sonic fans in the chat? Anybody who's been uh, playing Sonic games for a long time? We're currently... Uh... There's more time between current day and Sonic 06's release than there was between Sonic 06's release and Sonic the Hedgehog 1 coming out. Stop. <laughs> you guys know how they're delaying Breath of the Wild 2 to uh, next year, like spring next year. Isn't it wild that they're going to release Breath of the Wild 2 on the six-year anniversary of Breath of the Wild in March of 2023? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild just turned five last month, so... What's your favorite part of this run? Just the novelty of it, I'd say. Probably getting Temi armor. Hey, yo, who's ready for get? Damn, the passage of time got hands. Alright, so do I get rid of my... I guess I get rid of my entire inventory during the Monster Kid cutscene. I just drop everything. I don't need any of it anymore. Hey, look, 66. There's Gaster. There he is. I told you he'd show up. I've run into Gaster himself, like I've gotten the door twice and I've gotten the hallway 
outside of that three other times. So five total hallways with two total doors. My very first hallway was a door. You know, wait. Route optimization. Wouldn't it be better to get the dog residue in genocide? Because you have more open inventory spaces to actually use it. Yeah, that's definitely actually better. Because you get, you know, they only sell for one or two gold each. So they're not worth it for pacifists. They just clog up your inventory. All right, I'll move that split back. I'll, I'll move that split to genocide next time I run. Uh, I got... I don't think I got any fun events on my very first playthrough because my first playthrough was on 1.0 and most of them were broken on 1.0. Okay, so you just eat those two. Having French toast for dinner, you're nice. But yeah, uh, the on 1.0, which is the version I played because I played it when it came out, there was a lot of fun events in the game that checked for fun, but it checked for fun with a capital F. And fun is a lowercase. Or it might be the other way around. It might have checked for a lowercase fun, but the actual variable's uppercase. I can't remember. Whatever it was, it was a capitalization error that caused like most of them to not occur. Even if you had the right fun value. That was fixed in uh, 1.001. How did some of them work? Because not all of them had the error. And that was fixed in uh, 1.001. All of them were made to work properly. Adding a new room shifts all room IDs. Yeah, the new patch for Deltarune totally does away with that. It uses a totally different thing to keep track of save, uh, of what room save files are in. They applied that to chapter two and then released the patch and uh, forgot to apply it to chapter one or just didn't, I guess, making sure it worked first. And uh, chapter one files couldn't be loaded and then they released another beta patch that fixed that. It was done in beta this time though. Very smart. I think the main reason they decided to do it in beta was probably because of what happened last time, but also because uh, the main reason they did the update in the first place was a Windows 7 compatibility fix. Um, I, 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 would, I would stand to reason that I don't think a single person on the Delta and development team probably has Windows 7, so that might have been the driving force between making it a public beta. <laughs> they probably just don't have any way to test it. They're like, ah, shit. Well, somebody out there has it. Let them test it. All right, everything except cloudy glasses from the Gushin shop. Hello, friend. But yeah, going on beta was definitely the, the correct move because there were some patches or some things that needed to be addressed. Like, yeah, they rewrote the save structure again. And it's now that it's fully working, it's actually sick. Uh, like, it won't break with future updates, most likely. In fact, it's so sick that they accidentally turned off dog check for chapter one entirely, which I think was an accident. I think they probably disabled it to make sure it wasn't, like, erroneously being played and then just forgot to re-enable it. 
Now, theoretically, this shouldn't be a problem. So long as you don't try to load into any invalid rooms. <laughs> hey, what's up, Crinios? Yeah, they might fix that and put it to live after that. Because the rest of the patch is good. Everything loads properly. Uh, the new save structure is sick. All the bug fixes work as intended. Which, by the way, all those bug fixes that are in, like, the official patch notes... Yeah, you're, you're welcome for that. <laughs> I wrote up, like, a giant email uh, containing, like, all the bugs I was aware of, and most of those made it in, so that's pretty cool. No Temmie, please. Thank you. The only one I forgot was that uh, King's Invent... Uh, certain... If you end the king fight on a certain attack, uh, your in your invincibility frames get extended permanently. Uh, the only reason I didn't include that is because I fucking forgot about it when I was writing the list. I just totally forgot to include that. Because I, I honestly, I genuinely forgot about it. You're missing the glasses? We get those on the run back. Yeah, no worries. No, feel free to ask questions, by the way. Don't be afraid to ask, like, huh, why are you doing this? Oh, wait, I just got perfect waterfall RNG. That was flawless. That was actually the best possible RNG. And I get it in this run. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> single fucking, single washua, double wash mold is, is the best RNG. That's hilarious. There aren't any encounters after the king fight. Everything in chapter two, it translates over. It's a save file flag. What point do you do Jenna? Once we get the real knife and lock it, we reset. So all the way up until after Metaton, Nia. What's the attack? It's the, the box one where the box moves. Like his chain box attack. It extends your iframes in order to be fair, but that flag actually never gets called back in the current build. Uh, we found, we figured that out. Don't save. Okay, I just wanted to heal. I should have just eaten my items, actually. I don't want those filthy things in my way. Why is it saved? Because it just forgets to unset it, that's all. That's just a game maker thing. A lot of things are managed through save file flags because of how game maker is. Like uh, the auto masher, for instance, is a save file flag. They're completely different items, Scout. Uh, in Pacifist or any other route, they're the Worn Dagger and Heart Locket. And in Genocide, they are the Real Knife and The Locket. Uh, Real Knife has 99 attack, and The Locket has 99 defense, which makes them a little bit better. Uh, the Worn Dagger's uh, the second worst weapon in the entire game, and... Uh, the Heart Locket is... Okay, I mean it's decent armor. It's just really mediocre because the stained apron is pretty much strictly better Like you lose out on like two points of defense for the passive regen Which is much much better Especially against Asgore because uh, Asgore if you are above one HP he can't kill you His attack If you're above one HP his final attack will always set you to one HP before he hits you again and kills you. So that passive regen from the Stained Apron, 1 HP might as well be fucking 6. <laughs> Yo, Wolfel, thanks for the raid, bud. Got that Woomfy raid. Hope you had fun playing that, uh... Are you, were you playing One Shot? I thought I saw that. I might be hallucinating. How do you like your tea? I don't drink tea. I was doing track of art peeg. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry for your loss. D 
the official category now. You invalidated the run. What did you do? Trying to read chat while fighting the boss. I forgot. You forgot Starwalker? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. What is track of Bart Peeg? Uh, it's a synonym for virginity. It's also a Deltarune speedrun category that Ash made. Is that category on the CE boards now? Yep. Who needs to see to dodge this attack? I'm looking at you guys, chat. Now I'm looking at the game because I need to attack her. <laughs> but I did that whole attack without looking at the screen. I was just using my periphery. True reset, all chapters, all bosses, all recruits, true pacifist ending, extended to glitchless. And Starwalker. And Knuckles, featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series, Super Ultra Championship Turbo Edition. Why is Starwalker in it? Is that what extended means? It's a recruit. It doesn't count for all recruits, though. Yo, crab apple wrong warp! Crab apple wrong warp! <laughs> Real! <laughs> I think that... <laughs> I, I think I can confidently say that might be the very first time in the history of the game anybody has ever done a crab apple wrong warp. <laughs> I think I can confidently say that. <laughs> Ooh, 80, exactly. Crab apple wrong warp. <laughs> Literally making history. I, I think I can confidently say there's not been a, a, a person in existence who has ever wrong warped with a crab apple before. Does that mean you have to pick up the noodles? What? They're in my inventory right now. The noodles are literally in my inventory as we speak. It's just that I had stuff in my inventory already, so the noodles weren't slot one, so I used them to... So something else was used to wrong warp instead. Normally, noodles and pan are the only thing in your inventory there, so when you eat... You would eat the noodles to get the text box to wrong warp if you're confident in no healing sands, because it makes it so pan is the only item in your inventory, but because I had stuff in my inventory from the Gerson shop. Actually, what I'm going to do, uh, in order to, to get it so that Pan is the only thing in my inventory, once I equip Pan, I'm going to dump everything in the, the box after buying from uh, Braddy and Caddy's shop. Because by my calculations, I should have three things in my inventory, four things in my inventory. I should have CT, Torn Notebook, uh, Noodles, and Pan. So I'm going to equip Pan, uh, buy the four things from Braddy and Caddy's shop, Dump everything so I have room to buy from uh, burger pants. Except ballet shoes. Don't dump ballet shoes. <laughs> we keep those. We, we keep ballet shoes.
Actually, probably not equip pan and do that afterwards. Uh, we can get bandage now, actually, I guess. No, we want to equip Temi armor. That's better. Oh, if we're just running with it, we don't need the hat. Why need any ballet shoes? You know? I mean, they're slightly faster for some of the encounters in core and for Metaton Neo, but like, uh, that's it, really? <laughs> Is it possible to not insta kill? Yes. All right, let's go. Yeah, we we're doing Geno first now, Saros. Turns out it actually does save time because of a little thing you can do at the beginning to save about three minutes. Well, allegedly. I think it's less than that. Probably about a minute and a half. Okay, don't whiff. Has anyone actually ever used legendary heroes to deal more damage? I'm sure plenty of casual players have. Actually, I want to say I used that as a strat one time on Asgore. In some run, for some reason, I had a hero and I used it. I like how the split still says reset. Um, because reload didn't fit on my live split. Yeah, heroes boost your attack by four when you use them. Pretty strong. Bitch. Why is it called Legendary Hero? Because it's a Legendary Hero. Hero is a sandwich. Hero is a type of sandwich. <laughs> Bitch! Ah, right, keep skill checking me, game. Keep doing it. You think I'll- you think I'll whiff? Fuck you. Bitch! <laughs> Out of my fucking sight. Come on, do it again. Give me a fourth. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Skill solution, true. I hear this type of sandwich. Yes. A hero is a sub sandwich. Yep. It's a type of sub sandwich. That's why there's an item in Amori called the Hero Sandwich. That's the joke, because the, the guy's name is Hero. But he makes a hero. No, it's not a pun on Euro. That's a different thing. It's a different type of sandwich, which is also a type of sandwich. Any more? Any more fucking Night Night Magics? You want to just get it all out of your system now? I ain't whiffing. Bitch! 
Fucking skill solution, baby. I found the skill solution. <laughs> I found my quads again, chat. They were they were hiding out in my closet the other day. I had to clean out my closet and I found my quads. They're back where they belong now. No, my my room closet, not this closet. Willie's in charge of this closet. I'm talking about the one in my bedroom. She just got a kuwad. <laughs> what channel? Wrong channel. What channel was that supposed to be in? A kuwad. I love Ocean Bagel. Is he streaming right now? Oh, the triple at 24. Oh, oh, that's gross. Oh, I hate that. That's disgusting. That's so good that it's bad. But I don't care. I'm high off fucking skill solution. <laughs> Look at all that garbage in my inventory, dog. <laughs> nice salivancy. <laughs> Bitch! Woo! Actually, keep that on. I've never fucking whiffed in my life, dog. Holy shit, that was six... Oh wait, that was six Night Night Magics, I think. Two scripted, four random. Making me hit 12 kuwads and I didn't drop a single fucking one because I'm so goddamn good at this video game. The king is fucking back, baby. Come on, give me one more. Give me another Night Night Magic, honestly. I can take it. Give me a 13th. Feel like a fun king? Thank you, Nyan. Appreciate you. The core is bussy bopping. Oh, my bussy's bopping right now in response to not fucking whiffing anything. I'm so goddamn good at Undertale, dude. What's world record? Uh, 232. What? What, did I say something? Are we gonna get the Link encounter? Here it comes. Here comes the triple at 34, baby. Bring it. Give me that triple at 34. Juicy. Never changes. <laughs> I'm going to become the Joker. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't whiff. There's a zero whiff core. About the worst RNG conceivable, which, of course, why would you ever expect anything different from me? We know I'm not allowed to have nice things. We know I'm not allowed to have good RNG. We've been over this. Listen, I might not have a 103, but you know how many 104s I have? Hi, sorry I haven't caught a stream in a while. School has been real tough. And today I came down with a fever, and it might even be an ear infection. Thankfully no school today BC Easter weekend. Also, thank you, Elf, for the gift, BTW. Yo, Mater, take care of yourself. I hope you feel better, and I hope the I hope it's nothing serious, man. And d don't worry about not being in streams. It's absolutely, totally okay. You focus on you. I'm, I hope school gets easier and stuff.
But thank you for the five months. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the continued support. Give me my fucking knife. Where is it? I need the knife. Lock it. Knife. And get me out of here. Okay. Uh, This way. Good lord, look at that fucking time save. It's almost like not whiffing saves a lot of time. Even if my RNG was abominable. That's the... Okay. Try that again. Well, 10 of those seconds just evaporated. Oh, what happened? Unfortunate. Computer got hit by a cosmic ray. Yeah, this, this split should be where the time save is. This should be about a minute and a half to two minutes, probably. A little less than I would have expected. Definitely more time saved to be had there if I get better RNG. Because, uh, yeah, my ruins RNG during that Geno segment was really bad. Oh! Save two seconds. Okay. I love splitting on every item. It's fun. I'm trying to figure out, so I'm trying to think to myself, if for the first death, it, if it would be better to use the auto checkpoint. Because you would, you don't have to heal. And then you use the manual save point for the rest of them. You just can't close the game, which is what makes me... But, but I think using the auto checkpoint for the first one is faster than you use the manual checkpoint for the rest of them. Longer tutorial dialogue. Putrid. Hey, Bleb. How are you doing, cutie? Why do you have to die 24 times? To lower the price of the Temi armor. I'm doing good? Good, I'm glad you're doing good. What's up? Uh, okay, how do I say this? I'm, I'm bad at words. Sukai? Is the N silent? Is it Sukai? Am I pronouncing that anywhere remotely close? Yo, good night, next. Take care of yourself. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Very close? Okay. That's good, I got decently close. Sukai? Sukai? <laughs> yeah, I am a native English speaker and I don't really know other languages at all, so I try my best, but I, I can't get rid of my current accent is a little bit of a problem. 
I have a certain articulation and vernacular that might be a little bit, uh, barbaric to some of y'all. Oh, right, there's no flowey. <laughs> it's right, right, I, I, I intimidated that bastard. <sighs> Flowyant. Yo, good night, Delta Diabolus. Take care of yourself. Why no Flowey? I just did genocide and uh He doesn't comment if you reset. I believe if you beat Neo in the genocide route, he stops appearing. Because the game assumes that you get to the point where you intimidate him and he just doesn't want to mess with you anymore, but we actually didn't actually watch that cutscene. You can also just get rid of him by killing him after his fight. It doesn't affect pacifist or anything like that because he, he's he's there. He just doesn't show up because he wants you to think he's dead. How am I doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. I uh, have a good day. I woke up, got a pretty decent rest, went and got lunch, and now I'm streaming, doing my favorite thing with my favorite group of people in the world. My lovely audience. As I play some fun games. Okay, don't save, don't do anything, just go die. I'll worry about item management after I die. <laughs> you like your audience? No, I don't like my audience. I love my audience. They're great. Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure that if you, uh, reset, if you abort genocide any point before Neo, he'll, he'll be mad at you. One death. I'm great. You are great, Ren. Alright. Save. Okay. Now we do some... Manual dying. Three. Four. Here, I'm actually going to use this capture for this. You should see my mouse now. So you guys can better see what I'm doing. I didn't count that one, fuck. Wait, I should be at three. That should have been three. I must have uh, hit the minus button when I went to press my scene change button. Four. Yeah, this way you guys get a better look at what's actually going on. Five. Yeah, no, you're not stupid. Don't worry about it. This stuff is confusing to people who don't know. That's totally okay. Feel, please feel free to ask questions. I love answering questions about what I'm doing. Uh, hello? There we go. Six. So what we're doing right now is that we're dying in order to uh, make Temi armor cheaper. Seven. Yeah, I thought of doing this uh, last night. As I was, like, after, like, reflecting on what I was doing, I, I realized this would be better. So I decided to implement it on today's runs. It's actually the main reason I wanted to do more runs of this category today. Six. 
So once Asgore starts talking is when the game uh, adds the death. So the game has a variable in, in its file that keeps track of your total amount of deaths. And uh, that makes the Temi armor cheaper. It caps out at 25. Uh, various other things also get influenced by it. Like, for instance, Sans commenting on whether or not you've died or not uh, in the date with him in the pacifist route. Uh, and uh, Asgore's fight, you, you'll mention how many times you've died. Fucking shit. <laughs> Eleven. Losing to Pap no, uh, losing to Papyrus doesn't trigger the game over screen. Mad Dummy Skip does count, which is why we're only doing it 24 times here instead of 25. Because we'll get the 1 from MDS. Halfway done. By the way, this does not count as multi-clienting. Uh, I'm following the rules that are allowed for what you can do regarding multiple clients. It only counts as multi-clienting if two clients are open uh, on the actual game. The load screen or the title screen is not counted as uh, interaction. It doesn't count as interaction until you actually press the continue button. This is essentially just a way to cut down on load times. How does it save time? It would save time over me... Uh, uh, watching the full game over screen every time. That would be the alternative to doing this, would be just sitting through Asgore's dialogue here each time. So this gets us right back in the game immediately. It should save about three or four seconds per death, maybe five. Oh, why is Geno first? Um, because what you do is that you play through Pacifist up to the save point before Naps to Bluke, save there, then do Genocide without saving, and then reload to that save point. And that means you don't have to go through the beginning of the game twice. Almost done, six more. I don't have a lurk command, but I love my lurkers and I appreciate them. Uh, open the game, please. <sighs> Jeez. I was gonna lurk, but I'm tired, yeah. That's understandable. Have fun lurking, friend. No, oh, yeah, I love and appreciate lurkers here. I think one of my least favorite things that, like, a popular streamer has ever done was Ninja talking about, uh, having the chat open and saying hi to everybody. I'm like, no, no, don't call out lurkers. <laughs> don't do that. Just let people relax and watch your stream, man. That's not good advice, in my opinion.
One more. What is a lurker? Somebody who just watches a stream and doesn't like participate in the chat. They're just big chilling. that again? What? I thought that, that, uh, my brain is fucking fried. I don't know why I just tried to fight. Sorry about that. Saved in your save file. Yeah, but don't usually fun events turn fun to zero so they don't happen twice even after you reload? Or does that one not do it, I guess? Not that one? Okay. Did not know that. Category of punch card stuff? Yes. Didn't know punch card was a thing. It's pretty obscure. Just in case, you know. What's up, Bridge Connor? All right, see you, Darker. Take care.
All ad endings? Are you talking all major endings or like true hundo? Because all major endings is a category. I actually run it pretty often. I haven't run it a bit though. But I, I have like a four hour, uh, 40 minute time in it. And if you're talking about like true hundo, like every possible, every ending, it's about, I have world record in that category and that's 27 and a half hours. Smile. Did you hear an Asgore sound? Yep. What is low percent? No items. Hacker ending will ever be obtained. I mean, if it will, it will. I can't answer that. <laughs> it's not obtainable. It might be in the future. Who knows? Never say never. Never say never. Empty gun will never be viable. Actually, I think Link's working on making it viable for neutral glitchless at the moment. The fucking psychopath. Actual fucking psycho, dude. Link really likes his Second Amendment rights. You know, I respect that. I like the Second Amendment. I'm not jealous of Link at all. Link's awesome, and he deserves what he has. Good for him, honestly. It's cool to see somebody take the game even further in some places. But I will remain the world's greatest glitchless player of all time. Nobody can take it from me. I'm the greatest. I'm the GOAT, baby. The TPE glitchless wizard. Man, what an edgy joke. Not only was that an edgy joke, it's also wrong. <laughs> Let's go collect the fuck out of that tutu. I'm gonna go collect the fuck out of that tutu. Tutu be like, do not come. Do not. And I'll be like, I'm gonna come. 
<laughs> I love that video so much. Y'all have seen that, right? <laughs> Later, Undyne. Quiche, quiche, we like quiche. Get the quiche. I like it so much. Quiche, quiche, we like the quiche. Get the quiche now. I like the quiche. Quiche, quiche, we like the quiche. Pick up the quiche and go get it now. Quiche, quiche, we like the quiche. Yay! We like quiche. We love quiche. We love quiche. We love quiche. We love quiche. that were me. You're not abandoned, you have us. Pleb, I'm going to give you a very large hug when we meet. You ever fight Matt and Yu Mew? Precisely one time when I played through the Switch version casually. I say casually, but I used speedrun glitches. I, I literally... <laughs> I used the punch card to skip Muffet because I didn't feel like fighting her. I was just playing it while laying down in bed. Ah, love you too, Blub. Yeah, you better be joking. I'm not giving these things out for free, you know. You could use a spider down to skip Muffet. Yeah, but punch card is funny. to stretch chat it's good for you speaking of punch card okay how am i doing this because i messed it up last time I'm gonna save just in case I fuck this up again. Okay, so I wanna I wanna make sure I at least have pie in my inventory. I know that much. Stick and pie are what I want. Everything else goes in. Okay, cool. No, I don't okay. I need to sort this out later, so. This seems good. Alright. Buy two nice creams. Punch card. I don't have room to eat one of these. Okay. Hello? Thank you. Okay, cool. Now we gotta put the punch card in slot one. Fun. Uh... Cool. Alright, we're done here. Wait, I'm an idiot. I needed fucking open slots in my inventory to pick up fucking... Oh my god, why am I so bad at this? Ah! <laughs> uh, why am I so bad at inventory management? Alright. I'll get the dog residue. I... I don't even know how I'm gonna fucking do this. I gotta have something in my inventory that I gotta drop. Just something I- just from some shit I don't need. Like the fucking nice cream or something. Yeah. Or the second punch card would work too. Hello? I guess I'll do dog residue later. Oh, 
I'll do that during the rest of everything. I gotta get dog salad in my inventory, and I don't even know what- I guess I'll drop the second punch card so I can pick up one of the Astro food. Ugh, goodness gracious, I'm such a fucking moron, dude. I'm so good at inventory management, bro. I have to sit there one of these days and route out what I'll actually have in my inventory so I, like, I know what I need to do. This category is still new and hasn't really been routed, so. Why do you have to get two astronaut food? I don't. You're supposed to get one to sell, but I'm not going to be able to. It shouldn't end up mattering. I don't think it'll cut my total amount of trips. Really, the, ma the thing that is dependent is most important here is if I get MDS on my first try. Yeah, I just won't sell the dog residue. That's what I'll do. When I do money laundering with Temmie, I won't sell the the dog residue, and then after that I can have a full inventory, and then I'll just drop everything. If I have a full inventory, like if I have nothing in my inventory other than the punch card, it means I get seven slots, so seven chances to get dog salad. I'll probably get it on the first try, and then I can walk right back into the shop and sell everything. Which would be faster than just dropping it. <sighs> now, we won't actually even be doing this anymore. Um, because I think the play is actually to move dog residue to, uh, to the Jenna portion. I think is actually the play. Because you'd have a much wider inventory there and don't have to worry about it clogging anything up. Although, who knows, maybe the money you get from it, like the 10 cents you get from the dog residue thing, will help you. Alright, let's get this attempt one, please. I felt like it was good. I didn't look at the screen though. I don't understand how MDS works. By leaving the room frame perfectly, it triggers persistence. And persistence keeps the room active, even when it's not loaded. And basically, when you respawn in the room, the game thinks like, oh, since Mad Dummy's cutscene was trigger and you're, uh, triggered and you're back here now, that must mean that you completed the dummy fight and lets you skip it. I'm gonna save. Also, huge fucking time save there. Okay, so we don't get cloudy glasses shit yet. We do that in a moment. Sell shit first. We have a full fucking inventory of garbage to sell. So basically, yeah, you keep the room active, essentially, is what you were doing. I'm gonna get an encounter now, fuck. Uh, you keep the room active. And the game just thinks you beat, uh... The game just thinks you beat everything normally. Okay, uh... Let me save and check what's in my box. Is there a slot? Okay, we'll put the dog residue in, and we'll sell the quiche. Okay, uh... Pie first. 
No pie. Yes pie. Okay, cool. Now sell everything else. Hold the dog residue. Get the dog salad. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Are you kidding? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go get cloudy glasses. Uh, gold means it's the fastest split I've done, but these splits are brand new, so that doesn't actually matter that much. All right. Put them back in the box. Now we're going to participate in a good old-fashioned money laundering scheme uh, between Gerson and Tammy here to make unlimited amount of money. NFT simulator, true. Okay, so it's above that blade of grass. Oh, I'm supposed to split there. Uh, that's fine. Uh... Okay, now we just gotta go get more money. All right, there's college. I think we have like 400 left. So we should, I think we can get this finished in one more trip. Yeah, dude, I know. I uh, I made sure I had enough to buy two full sets of uh, cloudy glasses. One more. There we go. There it is. Okay, so... Thanks, purchase. I think we should be good. Oh, oh. oh man. Woo ah, I cut that a little close. I just got to get the money in core. Jesus. Yeah, I'll have to pick up the money in core. Yeah, the dog residue thing actually made me had enough. Otherwise, I would I would have been one cloudy glasses short. Even though I could have bought it, so it wouldn't have mattered. I just decided not to for some reason. No, don't do that. Brain fart. Okay. Get the Temi flakes out of my inventory now, so they don't get in the way. Spare plane? Uh, shouldn't the... 
gold be enough? Oh, I need some for the hot dog, you're right. Um... Yeah, I could spare plan. The, the hot dogs are 30 each, right? I think sparing plane gives 60, I want to say. From what I remember from my, uh, my foray and all yellow credits. Is it worth it to say no to get bonus money? I have no idea, honestly. I'm not very well versed in Temi College. Well, actually, not Temi College, but Temi Armor specifically is the one I'm not very well versed in. Oh, I'm sparing plain. I should not have done that. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna heal. Nah, I, I definitely should not be at low HP if I'm going for that. Hey, Funky. Hope you're doing well, lovely. Um, so long as Undying never falls down, the flag for her getting Heatstroke is never set. So if you just leave using the punch card before that can happen, um, the game does not think, uh, the, the game doesn't require you to water her. The default flag is that she has had water. It only gets set otherwise when you, uh, leave her. It's kind of a weird little thing, but yeah, it works out to our favor. It makes it so skipping the cutscene means you don't actually have to... I remember very early Undertale speedruns when the punch card was first discovered watched that entire cutscene because they didn't know that. I don't think I have anything in my 
inventory that I can even get rid of. <laughs> Other than the pan, I guess. Or the, the tough club by equipping the pan, but I don't think I want to do that yet. I don't think I need to do that yet. <laughs> Two, three, Hey Ash, thanks for the raid. Hope your virginity speed run went well. I mean, uh, track a bark pig. Yeah, that's what I said, right? <laughs> World record, yeah, nice. I wonder if I'm going to get fucked over by persistence again. Not this time. Okay. Uh, not too much more. Just got to get the hush puppy from the hotel. All right. Later, Mad Lemon. Take care of yourself. Lovely. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good weekend. I guess we'll get it on the way in. Nah, actually, I want to be consistent with my splits. We'll get it on the way out. Or the way back in, I should say. I don't want to suddenly have, like, a fake, like, two-minute gold for no reason. Do you have money for chisps? I will. Uh, I, I'll be getting gold in core. I'll be picking it up from a wastebasket. Isn't virgin a banned word? No, harassing somebody for being a virgin is bannable. It's that little thing called reading the terms of service that a lot of people didn't do. Poopy. Hush, puppy. Where's the wrong warp spot? Where is it? <laughs> that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Give me my fucking hush, puppy. <laughs> it was not worth it. <laughs> but I was committed to the bit at that point. Didn't I accidentally, like, not get my menu back and, like, go in core last run? Or was that the run before that that I'm thinking of? That was that neutral run I did, right? Okay, I need to get the money. It's in the top right trash can. So no snowy core. Which means I don't have to, uh, I don't have to mash this cutscene away. Jesus. And I'll put pan here too. Nope, don't do that yet.
Don't want to equip uh, Tammy armor yet because I need to run away from astigmatism. Okay, that'll cover me for but the po oh eight o chisps. Save in case I missed the skip, even though I I wanted to miss the skip, but you know. Things happen. Stranger things have occurred. Timmy Armor keeps you from running. Not Timmy Armor, but any armor that isn't bandage. Uh, bandage gives you a 100% flea chance, unless you're in hard mode. So we just gotta slap it on, and we'll do that before the save. So anytime, honestly, let's do it right now, I guess. Oh, I think I was supposed to do that before Asgore, actually, for my split consistency. Oops. Eh, whatever, not a big deal. Did I just walk all the way up in that room? Oh my gosh, my brain is turned off. She just forgot to do the wrong warp. Is there a possibility of a soft lock? Uh, I could soft lock on every wrong warp. Nice. Ugh. Move left. Frisk! Thank you. Good lord. How many times do I have to fucking input it? Okay, uh, how many... I don't have enough inventory room. I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff. Uh, what do I have in my inventory that I can dump? I guess the tough glove? Uh, I can do that during the date. I can use Tough Glove as my drop during the date. Actually, any of that stuff. I can just drop it during the date. It won't be a concern. I only need... Three inventory slots open. Do the wrong warp. I... Bro, holy fuck, my brain is off, dog. Oh, I've been playing so much TP glitchless. Jesus. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. Like, ten seconds, whatever. What's record? 232. Um, so yeah, I need three inventory slots open. I think. Because I need the Papeto Chisps, the Bad Memory, and the last stream. The letter goes away. So, I've just gotta drop a couple of things. Because right now I have seven things in my inventory, I only have one slot. So I need to make three, so I need to drop two things. Um, I can drop one thing during the Undyne date, one thing during the Alfie's cutscene. And that'll give us three total. So we should be good. Pure of heart, dumb of ass. Dump of ass? I mean, I do have one of those. Thanks for the compliment, I appreciate it. No thoughts head empty. Me when a cute person talks to me? Okay. So you don't have any thoughts in your head right now? Dump, uh, dumb of ass sounds like something Idris Elba's knuckles would say. What do you mean? I am not a dumb of ass. Why are you talking about camels and mules and donkeys?
Where's all the time going? I do not know. But we're gonna skip this split because I already equipped demi armor. Probably because of my mediocre mediocrity when it came to the punch card. Ugh. Okay. No pie, no nothing. Just Temi armor and pan. should kill, I think. Nice. Okay, cool. We only ended up losing one turn, so no big deal. You can't Tazgore with Temi armor. One whiff and Tazgore are the same, from what I, re what I remember. To, yeah, I didn't lose a turn. I mean, I didn't lose an extra turn to whiffing of the second one. If I had whiffed one more, I would have lost a turn. That's fucking 6,000 years too early, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my goodness. Howdy, it's- wait, why are you two hours into this shit? I've got the human souls. Ah ha 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 ha. Boy, I've been empty for so long, it feels great to have a soul inside me again. Ah, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become god. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real superpower of team- I mean, the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file, it's gone forever. But don't worry, your old front flowy worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? I don't feel like doing my voice for Flowey, because you know when I go all like, I've got the human souls. Yes, I'll watch them tear you to bloody pieces.
Uh, it makes my... It takes a lot out of me. It's not all about the souls, Kara. It's about the Mets, baby. Let's go Mets. Love the Mets. Hit a home run. Sounds like William Afton. Uh, William Afton's a little higher pitched. William Afton's like, Ah, a deceptive calling. I knew it as soon as I heard it. And Flowey's all like, Yes, the human souls, they're all mine. It's kind of similar though, yeah. Oh, lightheaded. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that voice does it. The flower behind the slaughter. Well, there is a purple soul in this fight. Yeek! Hands. Hands. Don't, uh, don't Google Mr. Hands. <laughs> so this is where all of ha all the hands from the Toriel fight went. What, I said not to Google it. I swear, people be like, why do they say not to look this up? I looked it up because I was curious and I saw something I didn't like. It's like, yeah, that's why they told you not to do it. That, what, do you see a caution sign on the, on the fucking road and you're like, what? Caution sign? Well, now I have to speed because the sign said there was, I needed to be cautious. I just needed to see what happened. It was the, the infrastructure's fault for making me curious. Yes, I do that. God, I didn't know there were so many fucking Ford Mustang drivers in my goddamn car, bro. In my chat, not my car. I speak English, I think. Allegedly. All right, I have to concede. I think Left Gang has won a lot lately, you know? I really think it's gonna be left. Just fucking kidding, right, gang? <laughs> Woo! Let's go! We stay winning. We stay winning, baby. Woo! <laughs> Common right, gang, dub. Honestly. Right gang! I like how you can act from all the way down there for no explicable reason. I just think it's really funny. Huh. Ho whoa. Yeah, there are some uh, some countries that predictions aren't allowed because it's considered gambling. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. So good. Oh my god, that fucking load, bro. Oh! I'm the goddamn best. One! Two! Three! Learn how to count to 12 with Shea Undertale. Four! <laughs> Five! Six? What's the number after six, chat? Seven! Eight! Nine! That was very rude of seven to eat nine like that. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Hold it! Wait. Beautiful. Alright, we did it. We counted to twelve successfully. And they said I would never learn anything from video games. Undertale taught me how to count to twelve. When I'm a teacher in the future, I'll use that as a problem in my in my in my in my kindergarten class. You have to hit Flowey twelve times, and you've hit him six times already. How many more times do you need to hit Flowey? I'm waiting for somebody to have like you know like one of those kindergarten like you know math questions that have like real people and it's just Sans and Papyrus. Like Sans has. <laughs> <laughs> Sans has three hamburgers and two bottles of ketchup. <laughs> Papyrus wants two of the hamburgers. How many hamburgers will Sans be left with? Good flowey fight. No, no, this can't be happening. You, you, you! Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 soldier boy, uh. <laughs> you! <laughs> Superman, that hoe! <laughs> Sand still has three burgers because he won't share with the virus base. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Yo, what's up, Weaver? Got gifted a sub again? Perhaps you did. Well, I'll just... Load failed? Ha! <laughs> Not relatable. I've never failed any of my loads. I uh, don't mind the fact that I messed up a load like five minutes ago. Don't, don't talk to me. Yeah, Lex Luthor steals 40 cakes. Why the fuck did he steal 40 cakes? <laughs> Bro, that's that's evil. Evil. No! I went too early, unfortunate. And bop, bop, bop. All right, Undyne letter. Yahoo! Sand? Waterfall. It's where water falls. What are you all saying no for? I was just whistling, chat. 
You're all like the people. You're like that one rude lady at the DMV. I was trying to get my learner's permit when I was young, and we were at the DMV waiting for like three hours, and I was sitting in a chair, and I was just like with my mom, and I whistled a little bit, and she came over to me, she's like, never whistle ever again. Uh, that one, yeah, yeah. Get rid of something. Yeah, she rudely was like, stop whistling. And I was like, god damn. I'm pretty sure, like, whenever you sign the contract to be an employee at the DMV, like, you literally write a pact with Lucifer to sell your soul. Like, the fucking, like, Satan himself just takes the goddamn soul out of your body. Does anyone know the original Lady Gaga lyrics or only the story of Undertale ones? Me, an intellectual, knowing the Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged series ones. Me and Makara, we will have our revenge. We will steal the pharaoh's leather pants. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> God, that's, that video is so old. Oh, <laughs> uh, that takes me back. It was like 2009, I want to say. 2010, maybe? Uh, maybe younger than that. Yeah, the last couple times I've had to go to the DMV, we just go to the, the other DMV in a, a nearby county instead of the county I'm in. Because, uh, you know, they go faster there. A smaller county. Kind of a higher class county. They're, they have less people there, so the service is faster. <clears throat> How are your balls? Uh, they're doing just fine. Wait, let me check. Yep, looking just fine. Still attached to my body. They haven't gone anywhere. Wait, you didn't know that it was a Lady Gaga song and you... <laughs> you really have never heard Bad Romance before? Like, before the parodies of it? Get that garbage out of my fucking inventory. Alright, chat, it's time. We're gonna do it. It's, it's time to do it, chat. Time to break rule one. Boat in the Snowden, baby! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I think that dagger split is a fake gold. I think I must have forgotten to split and split somewhere bad or something like that. I think everything should be fixed up now. Alright, give me the super undines letter, please. The super letter. Ah, I wanted a wrong warp with that. Oh well. There are parodies of bad romance. Parodies nuts! Nice split. Shut up, virgin. Hey, Ember Fox. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Look my balls. Boom. <laughs> that video is top comedy, by the way. Oh, what? Okay. Whew. Oh, man. If I had missed all three, I think my dignity would have been in shambles. 
Wait, what am I talking about? I have no dignity. According to that one person in my Discord who got mad at me because I did a sponsorship. Oh no! The streamer, in order to be able to financially comfortably provide free content, needs to do a sponsorship in order to pay the bills. Oh no! My small, narrow worldview is broken. In my world, my mommy pays for all my rent. Jog boy. Do your fingers hurt? Ah, uh, no, not really. You do get a little exhausted after this part, though, due to all the mashing. Okay, uh, I should have two slots in my inventory open. Yes, okay, wonderful. What? How did that with me? Streamer, you cannot support yourself. Exactly, right? No, you're not allowed to be financially comfortable. How dare you play a game for two hours in order to make sure you have enough money to comfortably do your job that I consume your content for fucking free. How dare you? How dare you try to get some money in your life? All content creators should provide me content for free and never do any sort of sponsorships ever. No, uh, I know, I don't, I know I, I need three more slots, Verdamo, but I drop one more item during a cutscene later, before uh, last stream. <laughs> God, sexual. <laughs> Hold on, Mickey Mouse? <laughs> hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! That's um, a little high for me. Hey everybody, it's Mickey Mouse! Holy shit, this elevator is falling at rapid velocity! Hey there, Goofy! Hey, Mickey! Wake me up! Wake me up inside! I can't wake up! Wake me up inside of my... Slime me from the nothing, I become. Wake me up, wake me up inside, can't wake up. Oh, uh, we're switching the two splits, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, item. <laughs> I fucking love the dial-up sounds, dude, it's so funny. Uh, so we'll just get the split. I was supposed to wrong work with that. I did not fucking interact with the goddamn bench, you stupid gender neutral ambiguous fucking non-binary bastard unbelievable okay that's the wrong bed <laughs> good lord i'm on cloud nah baby Making a non-binary fuss to save the world from intercontinental ballistic wrong warps. The wrong warp out of the red keyhole room loses time. Damn. Does it? Me stopping on the way to have intercourse with your mother also lost time, but I did it anyway. Oh! 
I said, wait, no, it doesn't. That definitely saves time. It puts you like midway down in the room. It has to save steps. There's no way it doesn't. I thought I, I timed this, I thought. Sheesh! Yeah, uh, number, if you don't know the quote, it was, uh... You millennial leftists! <laughs> what was it? You millennial leftists who never lived one day under nuclear threat can now reflect upon your woke sky. You made quite a non-binary fuss so to save the world from intercontinental ballistic tweets. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Sir, those are words. Those are just words. Those, those don't... They're, they're no correlation. Underbed. Is that when my mom had a headache today? <laughs> Damn. I've been found out. Alright, I need to drop something during fucking... I need to drop something during fucking, yes. Uh, during this cutscene. Where you got ratioed by the dictionary? Do you even know what non-binary means? Yeah, nanomachines. <laughs> you got ratioed by the dictionary. How do you do it, man? You're 50. Cancel culture strikes again. Oh, I cut the whole line of text. <laughs> ah, whoops. <laughs> Cancel culture strikes again! Hey, business sheep. How are you doing, cutie? Patootie? Thanks for the good luck, Ash. I, I don't think... I don't think there's any luck in the rest of the run, though. <laughs> it's just mashing. <laughs> Gotta get that frame one dream act. I like how we're gonna, like, start up the Asriel fight. Like, the big climactic final battle. And then the, <laughs> the run just ends, like, immediately. <laughs> Tutorial's homophobic. Standing here, I realize you were just like me, try to make history. No, not again. The same thing happened twice. I had almost fully soundless dialogue and I got the one fucking sound bite, dude. <laughs> Misery! <laughs> it happened again! Oh, the misery. I 
Not sure you can avoid that one. You should be able to. Why that one? All the rest of it is silent. All right, who's ready for the sick climactic final boss fight, everybody? Here we go. Climactic final boss fight. Here we go. And time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we did it, chat. Now hold on, I gotta dodge Star Blazing really to prove my supremacy. Oh yeah, I'm so good at this game. Is that world record? That is indeed world record. <laughs> I just love how the category ends on getting the last item. Who made this decision? Why does it end on getting the ending? It's what I get by a lot. Nice. All right, bye, Azrael. You have fun. <laughs> oh, look at all these golds. Good. Sick time, honestly. Denise, you make this decision? Actually, this category was added when I was not a mod for CE. Huh, nice. Pretty good. Anyway, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The majority of my viewers aren't actually subscribed to the channel. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know if this is going to go on YouTube or not. Uh.